Astronomers have discovered a powerful new type of cosmic explosion. They're calling it a micronova. Don't let the little name fool you. That's how they get you. Many astronomy fans probably know what a supernova is when a star explodes, but a new study is now revealing this new kind of stellar explosion. Researchers say the micronova still burns through enough stellar dust to fill 3.5 billion Great Pyramids of Giza. <laughs> I love these comparisons. So who's going to check that? <laughs> hey, Fred, come on. Get the sand. <laughs> okay. Well, the astronomers spotted the phenomenon on the surface of three white dwarfs as they fed. What? Is this a Disney film? Oh, wait. The sentence continues. I, I read that wrong there. Roll it. Right, yeah. Astronomers spotted the phenomenon on the surface of three white dwarfs as they fed on hydrogen and other materials from their companion stars. White dwarfs are the remnants of dead stars which have exhausted all of their fuel. Ha! You see, now that makes way more sense than sneezy, sleepy, and grumpy. <laughs> the explosions last for just a few hours, rapidly burning through huge amounts of stellar material. So, kind of like a cosmic zit, so to speak. An international team stumbled upon them right after noticing a brief bright flash of light while analyzing data from NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS. That's a satellite that looks for planets and other solar systems. Wait. How common is this thing? We don't need our sun just blipping out of existence or throwing up a micronova at us. <laughs> hey, at least we could test that whole Great Pyramid of Giza thingy. <laughs> I'm kidding. You need a white dwarf star and we don't have one of those. And you need a companion star and we don't have one of those. Two of the explosions took place on the surface of known white dwarfs. The third required more observations using an instrument on the European Southern Observatories. Very Large Telescope, or the VLT on the ESO. <laughs> Boy, scientists really do like abbreviations, don't they? <laughs> don't, don't ask me. So what is the difference between a micro and a supernova? Well, I'm glad you ask. Despite their immense forest, micronovae are small on an astronomical scale in comparison to nova and supernova, which are extremely bright and visible to astronomers for centuries. I mean, micronova only lasts for hours. In Nova, these thermonuclear explosions occur over the entire surface. The intensely bright light is visible for weeks. In Supernova, on the other hand, it is so energetic that they will burn the entire white dwarf. Those are the ones that last forever. Both types occur on white dwarfs with a mass similar to that of our sun, even though the actual star is as small as the Earth in size. That means it's really dense. This picture is the artist's impression that shows a two-star system where micronova may occur. The blue disk swirling around the bright white dwarf in the center of the image is made up of material, mostly hydrogen, stolen from its companion star. Call the police! Towards the center of the disk, the white dwarf uses its strong magnetic fields to funnel the hydrogen towards its poles. As the material falls on the hot surface of the star, it triggers a micronova explosion contained by the magnetic fields at one of the white dwarf's poles. These micronova explosions are one millionth the strength of a nova, and of course, the star still exists. The researchers now want to capture more of these elusive events. This will require large-scale surveys and quick follow-up measurements. We have a lot more info on this and other studies. Just click on the link in the description below and head over to studyfinds.com.